Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and double honor to our elders of GMS who rule well. Rock the thumb out of your Akim that's out there that's pushing his truth and sincerity and the strength of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, we're just doing quick lessons, man. Uh, get your mind right. Uh, stop and listen. GMS a moth, you know what I'm saying? Got the brother right here. Tell me your name. Shout out Wong. This is the brother Kwaha Lada Ma from the GMS Missouri camp. And all praise to y'all by Shimi. I'm Shah Brakatan. Okay. Guys, the brother not by Ayash with GMS North Carolina camp giving all praise to you. How about Shimi? I'm Shah Brakatan. Okay. We just, you know, you know, fellowship and man, uh, brothers, how about Shimi? I'm Shah made it possible, man, for mm -hmm. the brotherhood to come together, man, you know, before. How about you know, Shah destroys America, you know? <laughs> so it's way out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's in the prophecies that he's going to destroy yep. America, man. It's in the prophecies that the chip is coming. It's in the prophecies that martial law is coming, race riots, famines, pestilence. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's in the prophecies, man. So, you know, if, with that, man, can I get uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 20? Okay. Give me. Proverbs 13 and 13. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 20. And it says, Despite, despise not prophesying. Cut. It says, despise not prophesying. Right? When you look at that word despise, it comes from a Greek word, uh, exotheno. It means um, to regard as nothing. Right? So when you despise his word, you're regarding it as nothing. And the word is truth, man. The word is life, you know? Read that again. First Thessalonians 5, verse 20. Despise not prophesying. Prophesying. When you look the word up, prophesy, it comes, it's pro meaning before, and phasi meaning to say. Phasi coming from the root word, uh, phimai, meaning um, to speak, right? It's prophesying comes from the word of uh, prophetia, meaning foretelling, uh, speaking forth the mind, speaking forth the mind in the counsel of Yahweh, man. Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So it says despise not prophesying. So we go on the highways and byways, that's what we're doing, we're prophesying. We're giving you prophecy of, the, of these end times, man. And when you despise it, you're you're, you're regarding it as nothing. That's why you have people that come by and fan their hand, Say, hey, y'all crazy. Who is them crazy guys with them groves and them capes on? They despise prophesying. It's going to be an utter destruction to you. You know right? What you got over here, Proverbs? Okay. Proverbs 13 and 13. 13 and 23. Proverbs 13 and 13. Okay. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Okay. It says, he that despises the word shall be destroyed. And we know two thirds going to despise the word, so they're going to be destroyed. Read, read that in. Con, okay. Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, mm -hmm. but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. To be rewarded. When you look that up, it comes from a Hebrew word shalom. We know shalom meaning peace, to be safe, to be complete, to restore. Right, the perfection and the completeness. The com perfection and completeness are prime attributes of your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So you can't despise the word, man, or you're going to be destroyed, man. Read that one more time. Okay. Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Shall be destroyed. Okay. But, he, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Okay. You will be made, what, safe in that day when the destruction comes. What you got, brother? Uh, Mark. This is the book of Mark 13 and 23? Yeah, you mean Proverbs 23. This is the book of Mark 13 and 23, and it says, But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. Okay. Take ye heed. Coming from the Greek word blepo, meaning what? To be, be aware, mm. you know, to be observed, to discern, to look at. Read it again. 
Verse 23, but take ye heed, behold, I have t foretold you all things. He yeah, foretold you all things. This word has told you all things from the beginning to the end. It has told you all things. It hasn't left out not one stone unturned, man. No biscuit, no we And we read this word and we go by the word telling you of this destruction that's to come, right? So when it comes, Hey, it's what it is. You were you were told. You gonna know that prophets were out there on the highway the Bible is telling you. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Proverbs twenty eight and thirteen. He that covered his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesses twenty three and eighteen. Oh. It's a lot here. Proverbs twenty three and eighteen. Mm -hmm. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation sh shall not be cut off. It says, surely there is an end. The ultimate outcome of Esau and two thirds of our own nation and the, uh, our own people in the other nation. It says, surely there is an end. Mm -hmm. There is going to be nuclear destruction. America will be destroyed. The nation of Israel will take over and rule. Under the leadership of Yahweh Shai King David, and we will rule for rule you Edomites a thousand years, and we will we will burn you up. <laughs> God, right. God is. That's right. God after hardcore slavery. Right. That's prophecy, right. man. You know. So read that again. Con Proverbs twenty three and eighteen. For surely there is an end, Con. and thine expectation shall not be cut off. And then the expectation should not be cut out. So the end is going to be sure. How about Shimei Hoshai? is going to destroy America, man. And set this king of Israel. Amen. With that, I'm going to give all praise to you. How about Shimei Hoshai? Praise you all about Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Praise you all about Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the elders of GMS who rule well. Double honest to the elders of GMS. Brock and Thumb and all you alchemists out there is pushing this truth and the strength of you. How about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man? With that man, call me Asha Allah. Call me Shalom. 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 Uh, Shalom. This is the brother Naba Ayash. Here in Arkansas, you know, visiting the brother Yikal. Uh -huh. Got the brother Kwa Allah from Missouri. Shalom. Hey, uh, you know, we're here just doing another episode of Get Your Mind Right and Stop and Listen and uh, uh, GMS Ma. You know, just bringing out a quick scripture to edify the brotherhood. And uh, today's scripture is going to be uh, Proverbs 12 and 15. Oh, okay. The Proverbs 12. This is Proverbs 12 and verse 15. And it says, The way of a, of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearken unto the counsel is wise. That's right. That's why I said the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. That's why I, so, a lot of times when us brothers out there on the highways and byways, we deal with these idiots to come up with their own philosophies and own ways, even though we prove to them the truth out of the scriptures of the Bible, they still don't want to agree with it because, because their mind is blinded and drunk off their own doctrine. You know what I'm saying? Even though we got even Israelite camps out there like Nate, Zabak, you know, General Gehenna, you know, throw Isaiah uh, dumbass in there too. You know, they drunk off their own, own ways. That's why it says, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. In his mind, he thinks he's doing the right thing by manipulating scriptures. You know, but it also said, he that, hear, that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Who, who is our counsel? First of all, it's the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Then it's our elders of GMS. That's wise counsel. That's what makes us also wise. You know what I'm saying? Listening to our elders and also the other brothers out there on our highways and byways. Why? Because they follow the true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why our mind is not going off into that madness of these other doctrines. Like the hell doctrine or you got to go get a marriage license for your wife and all this other nonsense that don't nobody know the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes you a fool because you're not listening to wise counsel. Okay. You brothers got anything? Quick piece, uh, sir. Come uh, this is the book of Galatians 6 and 3 And it says For if a man think himself 
to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Cun, that's why you have brothers out there on the highway, well, niggas out there on the highway and byway that come up to you and try to argue with you about dreadlocks, Islam, you know what I'm saying? They think they wise in their own mind, but they deceive themselves. Because then they get sliced and diced with these scriptures when brothers bring them out on the highways and byways. Then they get mad and want to fight. But in their mind, they still right. Get corny. You know what I'm saying? No, man, them locks, they, them not brave. Look at ancient artifacts. We, they got locks. But then you break down the word lock to them, they get mad and want to fight you, cuss you out, want to do drive-bys and stuff. You see what I'm saying? That's a fool. Because he's not a wise man. He's not trying to listen to the law, said the commandments of the heavenly father. He want to do his own thing. Okay. What y'all got? This is uh, Sirach 22 and 13. Talk not much with a fool mm -hmm. and go not to him that have no understanding. Mm -hmm. Cut. See, that's why we leave him alone. We cut him a scripture and leave him alone. Sometimes we don't even bother with them fools on the streets, man. Why? Because they fools. We know they're not going to get it. You see what I'm saying? But even sometimes, brothers or well, niggas try and slide in there and act like they understand, but then all of a sudden, here come their foolishness out their mouth. I hear what you're saying, but I feel, this is the way I feel. But then, you're like, hold on, let's talk about the script. I, ain't, I don't want to deal with the script. I want to deal with what you got to say. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to listen to wise counsel, which is the scriptures. That's why the scripture tells us not to even deal with these fools. It says, Beware of him, lest thy have trouble, and thy shall never be defiled with his fooleries. <laughs> See? Don't even bother with him, man. Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness. See? And that's why a lot of brothers fall out the truth, too, man, because they listen to the other fools. You see what I'm saying? Instead of just kicking them off to the side, sticking with the elders, they want to follow these other fools. You see what I'm saying? That's why the scripture tell you not to deal with them, man. Because then that's how a lot of these niggas that used to be in the truth get trapped like Isaac. That's why they fell to the madness of Baloo. <laughs> in the uh, ever, uh, ever loving arms. Yes. <laughs> that's how the, he embraced that yep. nigga, man. <laughs> He got drunk off that, that, uh, that blue juice. You know what I'm saying? Now he's drinking it 100%. You see what I'm saying? Extra sweet. There you go. <laughs> yeah, art. Yeah, art. That's crazy. That's what happened to him, man. That's why you don't deal with fools, man. Right. You know? Hey, but with that, hey, I'll praise you. How about Shimmy on Shine? I'll praise you. How about Shimmy on Shine? Double honors to the elders of GMS. Hey, and rock a thumb to you brothers out there and keep pushing this truth, man. You know this truth real, man, because if it wasn't, folks out there wouldn't be mad at you and try to fight you, man. Family wouldn't turn their back on you. See what I'm saying? This is the truth right here. And stick close to the brotherhood because we all we got, man. Oh, got out of all these billions of people, this small sanctuary is all we got, man. See what I'm saying? Hey, and with that, hey, Shalom Wong, Kwong Yashala. Shalom Wong. Shalom Wong. Um, I'll Praise to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, Barak Much love to you brothers on the four corners of the planet that's pushing this truth with sincerity, honesty, and faith. Double honors to our elders, which are the elders of GMS, God. that feed us and rule well and, and continue continue work, man. Because that's what that's how that's how this truth is set up to continue, man. It's living water, like our elders tell us. That's right. Okay. okay. So and it's a beautiful thing the most high in the spirit has had. Me come down here to fellowship with these brothers, and, and I'm gonna have these brothers introduce themselves. And and myself is Kwahalad Ma from the GMS Missouri camp. All right, and this brother, Nikai Kwatazar, GMS Arkansas. Uh, not by Ayaz, GMS North Carolina. And uh, real quick, we're gonna go into these scriptures, and uh, I want you to get Ezekiel 16 and 9, please. Okay. Ezekiel 16 and 9. Then washed I thee with water. Mm. Yeah. Real quick, we gotta stop. What's that water? We already know what the water. If you brothers are in the truth, you should know this water, the the what does it say? This water, drink from this fountain. <laughs> and, and, you know, we're drinking from this fountain. This is true. Okay, keep going. Huh. It says Ezekiel 16 and 9. Then washed I thee with water. 
Yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. Mm. And and the Most High now is doing that to a, a fullness. He, he's bringing, he's bringing, he's washing our blood, which our past sins and the things that, because what is blood defiles. Blood defiles. That's why you have to you you, don't, you have to cook the blood out of animals. That's right. Okay, so the Most High is washing our defilement away, and it's through these scriptures and the learning and and, and 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 purging us from this world also. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how the Most High is. He he's cleaning us. And you want to get that precept for me? Okay, I got one right quick. Go ahead. Robert. It says Ephesians five and twenty six that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Mm, that's right. God. So this word is what's cleansing us. This word right here is what is it, it, bringing us back together. And that's why it's a beautiful thing. Like I told this brother that most men kick it. Men are kicking it right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. It's Friday. You have niggas kicking on the four corners of the planet. But what's different is we're gathering together under this word and under this truth that we can all bounce knowledge around and, 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 and grow and learn in this, and, and drink water. And one of my favorite verses with joy that I saw draw from the fountains of living water. It's a joyful thing, man. To come and be able to go into these scriptures and, 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 and the graces of Yahweh Shimei Shah to give us the opportunity to do it once again, man. I got a quick precept. This is John 4 and 13. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall uh, shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. And then that script in Ezekiel 16, 9 said, I shall wash thee. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is the one that's doing this, man. Okay. okay. It says, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Mm, look at that. Look at that. It's Isaiah 4 and 4. When the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall be purged in the blood of Jerusalem. And the one thing that's standing out here, Ark, real quick, why isn't it saying the world, man? Why isn't it saying he's going to cleanse the whole world? He can, this is a perfect position to put it in there. Okay. He can put it in there and, and, and include everybody, but he keeps saying what? The. He keeps using these possessive. The. The daughter of Zion. The daughter of Zion. And this particular one is talking about, you know, this is chapter four. Mm. About seven women should take hold. Kind of one. Yeah, this, this is that chapter. <laughs> and we know that time we're at. We're, we're coming to those times, and you think it ain't going to be this time mindset you have today. These women ain't going to come cleave to you. Cause you some kind of uh, 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 outstanding. Uh, so it's gonna be something going on in this time period that these wicked women that are out here are gonna forbear all of their wickedness and cleave to men. Mm -hmm. And what does it say? They will meet their own dough, yep. make their own clothes. That's right. As long as you call by. So there's gonna be heavy things coming out here. If you want to keep going. It says when the lawyer how about shit now was shot, shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall purge the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment mm. and by the spirit of burning. Mm. Wow. And you know it's that coming, judgment time, man. Wow. It's judgment time. It's not, it, the Most High is coming with this word, but then we also have brother like, saying forbearing and, and saying and fanning their hand at this. Mm -hmm. So that's judgment. We're getting purified through the word and there's people receiving judgment unto themselves. And the great judgment is that fire, man. Because that's going to truly purify your body when you get touched by them, that thermal ionization of your flesh, man. When the, that heat touches you and you get purified that way. But now, as we said, we're getting purified now through the fire of adversary. You have to go through the fire regardless. Like our elders have told us. You have to choose the fire you want to go through. The adversary of this world shunning you, calling you Nick. Niggas with a dress on and, and, and oh you don't know the truth and, and oh you crazy you gotta that's fire man that's right most niggas are, most niggas their mindset that's a mental fire man yeah. you keep hearing that so much nigga break down right here burn up <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that was a, and that was a pure beautiful precept because it's saying it's cleansing his blood and, and, and 
it's gonna be cleansed regardless. So, kind of. I'm a. Uh, you asked for Ezekiel, mm -hmm. yeah, 36, 36 and 25, 20. but I'm going to start at 24 to okay. back you up. When you said why the Lord did, didn't include everybody, the whole earth. So this is Ezekiel 36 and 24. Uh, 24. It said, for I will take you mm. from among the heathen mm. and gather you out of all countries. How is he going to It didn't say we're going to take the heathens among the heathens and the heathen <laughs> shall be with heathens. <laughs> And that's so that's that the most high has a, a choice, man. A choice like even in this world they have what you call some USDA choice. Yep. On even meats. Yep. Some because they say why do they have that stamp on there? That meat is cut yep. better, it's shaped yeah, good. They, it's not like the top. The, the yeah. top. Yeah. So the most high is telling you right here, he's got his cut. Yep. He's got his own his own preferred cut of meat. Yep. And it's dealing with Yasharala. Israel, you you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's right. Mm. It says, it says, I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you mm. and ye shall be clean mm. from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. And we can look at this. Israel is a people for it's a people for it's a place. That's right. We're we're we in because nigga, how the most high is bringing us back? It's gonna be physically brought back there. But Matt, now we're being manifest with our customs, That's our right. heritage, things that was taken from us that we're being that that pull us to Israel. I mean, before you can go sit in the land of Tel Aviv now, but that don't make you a Jew. That's right. That don't make you that. But in the same sense, now we're being brought back to this in our in our in our language. To be able to communicate to brothers in, in the ancient tongue is a beautiful thing. And for us to be able to call upon our Savior and our power again. Okay. This is Psalms 119 and 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Mm. Yeah. And what does it say? Most high, he, he gets you when you're young, man. You know, he'll get you. He'll get you in this thing and, and 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 build you up. It's just saying to the fact of when we come in this thing, it's not like a set. What are you saying? Like a set time you come in, but when you come in this thing, the Most High it will keep you. You know, it will keep you. We're being kept now by faith, man. The only thing that's keeping us in this thing is by faith. Yep. Most, as you say, most young men or most men nowadays they're chasing women. They're chasing this life. They're chasing a the job. You got some jakes, they don't do nothing but work. Every time you see them, what you doing? Oh, I'm about to go up, get work. Go to work, go to work. They might have a dead end ass job. I and mean, never get nowhere, but in the same sense, they're chasing all those other things. But now the most high is keeping us locked in this thing in faith, man. We got example, you got niggas falling out when they were once among eating at the table. That's right. And then talking head about you wouldn't even know you a damn Israelite if you're talking about the men that hit you the game. How you gonna pull out scriptures about the man that then told you how to build a gun? Right. He done hit you how to how to how to how to forge a bullet. You wanna turn around and shoot the man that helped you do these things, man. That's the greatest form of a traitor, man. Mm -hmm. Oops. Would you have any more on that uh last one or Yeah, I I can read it again. Mm -hmm. Uh Ezekiel 36. And uh, I'll go straight to the point. In 25, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, mm. and from all your idols will I cleanse you. And we in the land of I this is idol central. <laughs> this is idol, this is idol uh, uh, capital, man. So now the Most High is bringing this out. And Cesare Bogier is an idol, man. That you have to come out of. That's why this Nate madness is even more. The Most High's brought his face and his name back to light. So why even try to dim it down? Cesare Bozier is a dim. Mm -hmm. That's a blot. It's the Most High and you a pure white sheet. All of a sudden now you want to throw you want to throw some little blood on it, and blood mm -hmm. stands out on white sheet. Sure, yeah. Or, or or oil stain. You ever have oil? Oil don't come out of nothing. It just stay there, man. You wash it, it just stay there, man. That's that's the most high now is beautifying and he's cleaning this. That's right. You know, he's clean. We ain't perfect yet, but he said what? We're gonna be perfect. It's promised. Mm -hmm. 
that's what our faith is in. These bodies are gonna be made perfect, man. Right. You know, so hey, any more precepts, brother? Yeah, anything? Uh, with that, I'm gonna say all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Prakatah. Double honors to our elders, man. Much love to you, brothers, that keep faith, man, and, and keep strong in this thing. And, 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 and it's a beautiful time to fellowship anytime you get an opportunity to do it, man. I tell you, for a brother that is up by himself sometimes, hey, it's it's like jumping in a pool, man. To be around like minded brother, it, it's nothing else like it, man. So, right. hey, the back brother up, man. You camps out there, man, y'all need to fellowship more with each other, man. Y'all brothers, man. It shouldn't be no strife or no kind of dissension between y'all, man. It shouldn't be no reason for brothers not to get together, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like this brother here, he out there by himself. Me and, me and, and my brother, we the only two. You see what I'm saying? So it shouldn't be no reason for it. you brothers that got it. You know, nice size camp, not the fellowship with one of the other, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when you was in the two thirds day, you kicked with all these two third niggas. So why not in the truth? You got your brother, man. Yeah, you be playing games all night. You know what I'm saying? You know, you be watching the foot. Yeah, man. Shit. Yeah. Man, this brotherhood is beautiful. That's all we got, man. Yeah. So that.